You are part of this incredible scale from extremely large, the universe, all the way to billions of times smaller than an atom. You're right there on that scale. You're part of that system. You're transferring information from the outside to the inside, from infinitely big to infinitely small. You're embedded into the structure of the vacuum. It's communicating with you, and you're communicating with it. You're part of that feedback. You're like an extension of space looking back at itself and learning about itself. That gives you a different sense of your responsibility. That gives you a different sense of your relationship to, your, to the universe. You're no longer just an insignificant little dot in the universe. All of a sudden, every single dot is crucial to the learning structure of our universe. We know that the electrons and positrons that makes up your atoms are appearing and disappearing into the vacuum. This is why there's uncertainty about where they are and where they're going. This is how the vacuum is in form. You're appearing, disappearing, appearing, disappearing, really, really fast <laughs> at the speed of light. And when you disappear, you're the vacuum. You're informing the vacuum. And then when you reappear, you're experiencing the material world. And when, when you take your experience, you feed it back to the vacuum. And then, the, and then you, and like that, the vacuum is feeding you back your experience. You are creating that reality. You're all following me. Now, you will hear that in the New Age and in the spiritual groups, you create your reality. You'll hear it very specially if you're having a fight with your partner. <laughs> you created this. <laughs> it's very convenient in this matter. Well... That is only half of the equation. Because if there's a feedback, if you're informing the vacuum and then the vacuum is, is giving you back your experience, then reality is creating you as well. So you're creating your reality and then reality is creating you. Because you see, if you only have half of the equation, if you say, you create your reality, which is becoming popular, even in the physics community, if everybody created their own reality, it would get very lonely. We would never meet. Everybody would be in their own reality. Going, where did everybody go? Right? But we have a consensus reality because there's a medium that connects us all that's making sure that this organization between all uh, interpretation of reality so that when you think something, when you interpret reality, then you feed it to the vacuum, then it's modified by everybody else's experience so that when it comes back to you, it's coordinated with everybody else. You guys follow this? Very important part. You can't forget that part. Otherwise, you could say, hey, I'm too hot today. Let's turn the sun down. And then the poor guy in Alaska is like, oh, it's cold. And so, there's coordination. So the concept, you all heard about the butterfly effect? 
the concept that a butterfly in Africa can bat its wings and produce a hurricane in Florida is not complete. <laughs> is not complete. The probabilities of that happening is very, 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 very low. Right? Because if every time a butterfly flapped his wings, there would be a hurricane in Florida, you would have Floridians in Africa with guns, you know, going, stop doing that. You're upsetting a lot of people over there. No, it would take thousands, millions of butterflies batting their wings together to even produce a probability that a hurricane could be created from it. Otherwise, it's almost not possible. Huh? Because you, the whole morphogenic field has to have enough power to make a change. This is why I'm talking to you today. Because in order to make this change, I talked about at the beginning of the conference, we must come together. We must gather our forces, we must all come to a different understanding together so that it becomes something in the morphogenic field that has power so that it can make that change, so that the butterflies start to make a hurricane. And that is because we are all connected in this feedback loop of creation, in this feedback loop of learning. So never, ever, ever forget the second part of the equation. Reality is influencing you. The world is influencing you. As well, that will help you because some people, spiritual people said, you know what? I went to all the seminars, even Nassim Hermain, and I read all the books. And I did all the meditations. And I, can't, I still can't manifest this blue Camaro that I want. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Well, in order for you to manifest something significant, you have to overcome all of the other manifestations that are occurring from all the other reality. It has to coordinate. So when you're sending information into the vacuum, when you're sending information into the space, then when it comes back to you, it's always a little bit modified. It's not exactly as you would expect it. Because if it was, you would stop learning. You would have manifested the ultimate reality for you a long time ago. And you'd be sitting there going, man, this is boring. <laughs> 